Hey guys, it's Shay, and I am back with another Marymount video for y'all. I know, lots of Marymount content, but this has been very highly requested. A dorm tour. A lot of people since I've moved in have been asking me on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Shay, we want a dorm tour. We want to see what the Marymount dorms are like because they're really, really nice. So I'm going to be showing you guys every little thing in my apartment that you guys need to see. And if there's anything else that I missed, feel free to comment it down below or DM me on Instagram. I'm more than happy to talk to you guys personally about Marymount or just college in general because I know it's a very, very crazy time. Without further ado, let's get into it. So we have our door. This is where we enter. We have my dog in the hallway. But um, yeah, let's go on in. this little hallway that leads to the first bedroom and we chose to use this as a space to hang up our cleaning supplies any shopping bags that we need and anything that we can grab just quickly before leaving the door there's a little intercom system that they have that you can communicate with security if they, if they have your food or if they have some delivery that's downstairs for you or just any little thing that they need from you and coming from there you walk in we have our kitchen table which we decorated oh so beautifully obviously but we put some photo decorations up here that flag and um we still have our christmas lights up we just like the vibe of it and over here we have the beautiful and talented amazing incredible show-stopping matthew morrison <laughs> as a theater household we had to we had to we put a wreath around it to make it festive so it's all good he's not completely seen so but going into the kitchen we put our trash can right here with a recycling bin because save the turtles. But there's a really big sink that's a little dirty, don't mind that. We don't have any dishwashers here, so we made a little makeshift drying area next to our little air fryer stove thing, which is so fun. There is tons of cabinet space above and even below, which we use for obviously whatever we need it for. We have a full functioning microwave and stove top, which comes in handy for making breakfast or making dinner. But as you can see, there's tons of like lower cabinet space and even upper cabinet space, which is awesome. If you are a musical theater major, I 10 out of 10 recommend getting a coffee machine, waking up at 8.30 or 8 a.m. for dance class, not easy. This will be your best friend, I promise you. And as for the fridge, it's a pretty big size and there's lots of space in it, actually. We are able to fit tons of food that we need, anything else. and. Even in the freezer, there's a ton of space, which really, really, really comes in handy. A lot of roommates tend to split the cost of everything in the common area. My roommate and I tried our best to do that. We were kind of thrown together last minute before we really moved in. So we didn't know who had what. Thankfully, she had most of the kitchen supplies and everything. So I just came in handy with any cleaning supplies and all that stuff. There's thankfully a lot of space in here. Not enough to put a couch or a sitting area or anything, which is unfortunate, but at least you have four chairs on this table to congregate at if you have friends over. We decorated it with a little cloud wall there, which we didn't finish, so don't worry about that. We thought it'd be fun to add some more light to the apartment since there's not a lot of natural light in this area. So now we have the bathroom. She's pretty self-explanatory, but there is really not a lot of storage in here, which I'll show you. There's a lot but it's not enough it's very narrow so like if you look in here it's very super super narrow so it's really hard to store a lot of stuff in there hello so what both my roommate and i did is we got these really cute like foot uh, stool storage things i don't really know what they're called but it really 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 helps and it's an easy place to store a lot of larger belongings like feminine products or like shampoo or soap bars and deodorants the shower doesn't have a lot of storage space as well this is the only Thing you have other than the sides of the corners and everything so i went ahead and i bought this rack and you need to buy your own shower curtain which my roommate had covered so thank god on the other side of the shower when you pan over here you got these towel racks that really come in handy and my roommate was a genius and put hooks on the door when i tell you adhesive hooks will be your best friend in college i'm not even joking 
everything you see that is hung up is with adhesive hooks, adhesive strips, like everything adhesive. Like buy as many as you can. You'd rather have too much than too little. So fun fact. So my roommate's room is here. I don't know if she wants me to show it, so we'll find out later. This is the roommate. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> oh, she's cute. She's posing. Okay, I see you. Ooh. Yeah, dancer cam. Dancer cam. <laughs> this is Amanda's room. That's Amanda. Hello. Do you like to show us around? Um. Well, I mean, it's a small room, so. Um, no, no, it's not that small. Yours is the same size as mine, kind of. Your mine's a little bit smaller than yours. Closet. A little bit, yeah. Dog. My guard dog, yeah. <laughs> the guard dog man. Big spooky scary man. Big spooky scary man. Would you um, like to say anything about the room? About the school? <laughs> um, it's been it's been fun as a dance major to have to dance in the rooms, that's for sure. Um, clearly I've made it to my own mm. personal little studio. <laughs> um, but uh, also, very thankful that it is only me in this room because I think if I had to share it with another person, I would be going crazy. <laughs> because I already feel like I'm closed off in here if I had another person. Dear God. I'm so glad we don't have other people in the room. I'm so glad. Like, I think I would, I think I would get like claustrophobic and just have like panic attacks every single day. All the time. Like, but you have the lofted bed, which I'm like pissed that you have that because I wanted that so badly. It is very enjoyable. I like having my desk under there because it's like a little, you know, like alcove or whatever. It's so cute. It's so cozy too. I love it. I love sitting there. The closet there. for this room is on the other side, which is not fair. <laughs> Whoa, are you good, bro? Yeah. Yeah, that's me in this room. Anything else? No. That's it? That's it. Okay. Bye. <laughs> well, we're going to go over to my room now. This is... Oh. What? Please what? I don't know what you want. <laughs> yeah, Fiero has buttons that he uses to communicate with me and he's really good at it, but it's annoying because he'll constantly press the mom please button when I'm in class and- Daddy? Oh my God, see, <laughs> he just put, I have to take him out of the bathroom now. Anyways, this is my room. She's cute, she's pretty. I think she's pretty. That's just my personal opinion. But I like her. So we're gonna start over here with my fancy smanchy little collage wall and my dog. So that's fun. But I just like this because it's a cute like photo moment, like you know, anything like that. And whenever I have friends over, everybody takes like group selfies in the mirror and it's really, really cute. I've used my desk for like multiple different things, but I only have this chair because I took the other chair and put it somewhere else, which I'll show you guys later. But I use this desk for makeup, schoolwork, recording music, filming videos, editing, all that stuff. So the way I organize it is that I have all my makeup up here. This cute little like turnstile makeup tray holder thingy, which really, really, really helps. Everything, everything. These I got from Amazon as well. But then I have my fancy little mirror here, my other mirror. This is my little mat. I don't know why I have it. It's just cute. But yeah, I strategically put my piano here so that when I'm doing music theory work here, I can just click over here and plunk away whatever I need to plunk away, and we're good. Now we have my TV on top of the two dressers that I stacked up. So the drawers are gigantic. You can fit so much in here. I have all my school stuff and any video game stuff in here, some recording stuff, you know. And then I put all of my other stuff, like electronics, medicines, makeup, extra stuff, you name it, it's all in here. As you can see, they fit a lot. And these two drawers down here are kind of empty. They don't have a lot of stuff in it, but they're very, very big. This is his drawer. He's trying to show you. You want to show them your drawer, buddy? No, he's looking for treats. <laughs> he wants treats. And this cute little rug that my friend Drayton made me. He has an Etsy, so I will put the link in the description for this. He does custom rugs. He can make you one just like this. Whatever you want, he can do it. Now, because of COVID, we have two of everything. So I have got two desks, four dressers, two closets, two beds, all that stuff. So with this one, I just kind of made it a cute little, you know, photo moment, extra collectible, whatever stuff, you know, cleaning supplies video games, pens, pencils, you name it. I just kind of threw it over here. 
and just went with it. Underneath this desk is Fiero's little cove. He has his blanket in there, a towel because he loves to snuggle under towels and his toys. I put my laundry bin right next to it, but it's empty because I'm doing my laundry right now. And it's just his favorite little place because he likes to lay in the dark and like really like dark and cool places. So it's perfect for him. But I love the windowsill. It's perfect to put like magazines on. Of course, this one is in the top, but um, yeah, this is my view. There's not usually a rope there. But they are doing construction, which is incredibly annoying. But I'm on the 29th floor, so I have like the most beautiful view in the world, except for this thing. Ignore that. We'll look at it this way. <laughs> we'll look out this way. She's the best view. She's cute. And it's like a million dollar view. I'm so sad that I'll never have this view again once I move out of here, but you know what? It's for someone else to enjoy. So maybe one of you will get this room. I saw one of my friends do what I'm about to show you guys next. And it saved me so much space and it really just made it more functional for having friends over safely and for my dog to just sleep on every night because he's spoiled. My bed is super simple. She's comfortable. I got this stand from Dormify. I'm going to put my personalized link for that website in my description so you guys can check it out and get some discounts. But I put the mattress for the second bed underneath here so that I can pull it out super easily. We got a corgi butt in the way. <laughs> so that I can pull it out super easily and use it as like a couch um, if I have a friend stay over, which never happens because we don't have any visitors allowed. Um, it's perfect for that or for my dog to sleep on. He sleeps on that bed every single night and curls up in that little blanket. That's his blanket. So yeah, it just saved a lot of space. And the extra bedding for that is like back here. So I strategically kind of put it in a way where it wouldn't be like clanky metal all over the place. Fierro also has these little stairs that he walks right up and he literally lays on the windowsill with. It's like he steps all the way up and just curls over there and literally stares out at the world. And it's the most adorable thing in the entire world. Coming over from my bed is the other set of dressers and a printer. Printer I honestly haven't used much this year since we are all virtual, but I think it's definitely gonna come in handy next year when we're mostly in person. Definitely, definitely, definitely get yourself a humidifier. It is very, very dry in the winter in these apartments, so it's going to save your life. Above this, I have my little photo wall, you know, just whatever. You guys don't need to see that. You don't know any of those people. But I have all of my clothes in here, and I have just have like extra blankets and like pillows or whatever in that bottom drawer. And then we have Fierro's little cove and the tap board from last time's video. But this is Fierro's area. He chills out here. He sometimes sleeps at night over there. He eats breakfast and dinner here and he's great. He loves it. It's his favorite little spot. I have these cute little hanging plant decorations and any of my shopping bags, my backpack slash purse over here, all that stuff. Now we have the closet area. Usually you'll only have one of these, which I don't know how that's functional. I don't know how that's functional, but thankfully I have two. So for this one, I put all my sweaters, sweatshirts, jackets, everything like that. There's the other desk chair. I didn't use that one, so I put it in here as extra shoe storage, and it works out super, super well. And you have this top shelf that's a built-in that you can put anything extra, so a lot of my cleaning supplies, laundry stuff, games, whatever, that's all up there. But I definitely recommend buying one of these extension rods and getting some cute curtains to cover it with so that it makes your room look more clean, artsy, whatever you want to call it. For this one, it's basically the same thing. Like I just put some bins, my towels, you know, I just have my towels up there, any, any sheets, pillowcases, more jackets. I definitely recommend getting a shoe rack like this and getting a jewelry thing like this so that you can easily store everything and it makes it a lot cozier. And then I brought this little drawer to put extra clothes in. And it just made it a lot easier so that I wasn't overwhelming my dressers with everything. So that I had more space for school stuff and electronics and anything for this little man. Also to be COVID safe, I bought this cute little like hanging rack so that I could put belts, all my masks, my keys, the dog leash, anything I need right here so I can just literally grab it and go. But yeah, that's basically my apartment. <laughs> um, it's a very, very, very great place to live. These apartments are luxury dorms which 
we are so grateful for. Trust me, I'm so glad I'm in this apartment rather than a dingy dorm from other schools that I've looked at. But Marymount is such a great school. You're spoiled with the program, you're spoiled with the location, and now you're spoiled with the apartments too. I don't know how anybody chooses other schools. Like, I'm not just saying that to kiss ass. Like, I'm literally saying that. I really, really, really like this school. And I really hope that if any of you are prospective students, you take this video and you learn a little bit more and maybe it convinces you to come to Marymount. <laughs> if you have any other questions or if there's anything I missed that you wanna see, comment it down below or go over to my Instagram or TikTok and drop a comment or a DM. Make sure to go follow me on all my social media, mostly my Instagram, because that's where I post any YouTube updates. And make sure you are subscribed, that you like this video and you turn on post notifications so that you get updated every single time I put up a brand new video. That sounded a lot like James Charles's outro. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.